another one of them a little bit of that trimmer head. Man, we got them fired up pretty good now. Quick release. And so right here guys, we've got this school fired up and they've actually pulled to the boat just a little bit. So I'm gonna back up off of them just a little bit. That way I can get them in my cast. That way they're not right under the boat anymore. It seems like whenever you get them fired up a lot of times, they'll suck right up on top of whatever you're on. So you always wanna be as high up on, you know, whatever you're fishing out offshore, you wanna be up on top of it. That way, whenever you pull them to you, you actually pull them on top of the ledge. So. Basically all we're doing here is just pitching the trimmer head up there, letting it sink to the bottom, slow reeling it, and every so often I'm going to let it sink back to the bottom. But right then I pulled my stool right up to the boat, and uh, what I'm going to do is just back back off of them just a little bit and try to see if I can get a couple more out of that stool that I wouldn't usually get if I just stayed right where I was at. Ooh. It's a giant guy. Man, it feels big. Oh, I got a catfish. <laughs> ah, they'll eat it too. They'll eat it too. And I mean, in these offshore schools, you never know what's out here. I mean, there's bass, drum, I mean, there's anything you can imagine out here in these offshore schools. So you're gonna occasionally get you a catfish or a drum or, or you know, what have you. But, wasn't mine, it was big, it was just the wrong kind. I never felt him roll, but he was hooked on the outside of the mouth. So. See, right back there on that same cast. I got another fish hooked up. And this time it's a large one. See, they just sit up there and they're all mixed together. They're all up there to feed. I mean, they're running water. All these fish are doing is just pulling up there to feed on shad. And like I said, though, if you guys watched, I backed back off of that school because I got too close. Whenever I pulled them to me, I got too close. And now we've backed back off of them. We're getting a few more bites that you wouldn't usually get. Oh. Got it. See, we got back up on top of them a little, get, a little bit again. I just pulled right back off of them again immediately. I noticed I got a couple bites really close to the boat. So just back back up again. That way I can get them in my cask. There you go. Eating that trimmer head again. There you go, there's another one. Trimmer head again. Another spot, as you guys can see, first cast up there, we caught us one. Um, another big thing with the trimmer head that I forgot to talk about when we was on the last place is make sure and throw it on light line, 10 or 12 pound line. I try to get away with 10 if at all possible, just so you can keep your bait down a little bit better. It helps to keep it down on the bottom and keep it from lifting as much. Another one on the trimmer head. Man, this is really what they're biting this afternoon. 10 pound line, trimmer head, 
7.6 medium heavy high rollers, we're putting in work.